Which is worse, poison ivy or sunburn? I'm Adelaide from Melbourne, Australia. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. This episode is brought to you by the Rhett and Link community where you can converse and create with other mythical beasts. You can also mail us stuff like Jason the Catadactyl did. He made this hat out of duct tape and then he mailed it to us in the post. That is impressive. Are you gonna wear it every day on a regular basis? Yeah, I'm gonna wear it on my commute. And then I'm gonna take it off. And now to address a question that has kept me up many a night. Which is worse, sunburn or poison ivy? Well, I, you know, a lot of people, they don't have conversations about these two things. You have conversation about one or the other. So I think one of the things that we're equipping you with here is if someone brings up one, like, oh man, I got a killer case of poison ivy. Say, well, at least you don't have sunburn for X, Y, and Z reasons. Or vice versa. Or vice versa, depending on how things go. Little background here. Do you know that the oil, the reason that poison ivy, poison oak, and poison sumac all give you this rash is because they all have an oil called urishiol. Urishiol. The body attacks. Okay, basically what ends up happening Urishi is. Urishi oil. No, it's actually urishiol. Urishiol. And that is an oil. It's a type of oil that okay. is in these plants. And that comes in contact with your skin. It basically binds to your skin. And then your body attacks the dermal layer. That's the skin. That is basically has this stuff on it and that creates a rash. And guess what percentage of the population is susceptible to this? Because there are some people who don't get it. Uh, 50%. 85%. Are susceptible? 85% of people exposed to urishiol will develop a rash. Some people are more susceptible than others. Uh, I am definitely in the 85%, as I know oh, you are. Yeah. I've gotten it really bad before. And here's two quick myths that a lot of people have. Okay. So you know that scratching poison ivy will not, it, the myth is it will spread the rash if you scratch the poison ivy. Yeah. Not true. The only time that you can actually, and it doesn't get in the bloodstream and move to other parts of your body. That's really? also a myth. It's the oil. The oil comes in contact with your skin, and the only thing that can actually cause the rash is the unbound oil that's on the leaves and stuff coming in contact with your skin. And it pops up in other places because skin reacts differently and in different times depending on the makeup of the skin. Hmm. And the other thing is, is it's contagious. That's not true. I can't take poison ivy, even if it's open and oozing, I can't take it and put it up against a sore on you or your skin and give you poison ivy. And that can't happen. Really? It's, it's only the initial contact. So it's not contagious, that's a myth. So that's that that's that's an argument for sunburn being worse because it is contagious. Oh yeah, if I could give you a, I'd just give you a sunburn like that in a heart. No, neither one are contagious, so we're not learning anything here. And there's been one, at least one recorded death from poison ivy. Ephraim Scott in 1895 went to pick poison ivy because his kids thought it looked cool. And then three weeks later, he died. He died of being an idiot. Yeah, and you can say that now because it's over a century later. It's not too soon. Tell us about and sunburn. He, he's the only one. Now, with sunburn, you got the UV light ultraviolet, and that attacks your epidermis. That's the living skin. Did you know the skin on the outside, that skin that you can touch is dead? And your epidermis is creating new skin and new skin and new skin, but UV light gets down there and it, I'm saying it cooks. I didn't read anywhere that sunburn is actually humans cooking. That's just me talking, that's not even Wikipedia talking. Okay. But what I have read is that the UV light kills the skin cells. They get damaged and they start dying. And then your immune system says, oh, white blood cells to the rescue and it sends white blood cells there via blood, which makes it turn red. Inflamed. Yeah, and then um, and you, you start to smell like cheeseburgers. That part is not true. I just made that up too. That again is coming from me, and I feel okay as long as I tell you that. I, I, don't, I couldn't find any documented cases of people dying from sunburn directly, but people, you know, if you get burnt so badly that your skin blisters up, it's basically like any other burn which could get infected, and you can definitely die from an infection of blisters. So in, if we indirectly, wanted. you can die indirectly. Well, and then indirectly and directly in, t in terms of it being a cancer, you know, causing skin cancer, of oh, course. Uh, melanoma. So, I, you know, right out of the bat, even before we get to the mythical perspectives, sunburn has a leg up because it causes cancer. I don't think uh, poison ivy causes cancer. And when you say a leg up, you mean it's worse. You don't mean it's yes, better. We're it's saying worse. which one is worse. We're asking which one is worse. It has a leg up by causing cancer. 
I mean, what are some of the mythical perspectives well, on poison ivy being worse? Nebular artisan, artisan says, I am very allergic to poison ivy. I have scars on my arms from when I got it almost three years ago. As of yet, I have no scars from sunburn. So poison ivy is way worse in my opinion. Scarring. I didn't know you could get scarring. If, apparently this person got it really bad. Hmm. I would rather have poison ivy, drunk catfish says, because you can actually move your body without it hurting. Poison ivy just itches and you can ignore it, but a sunburn hurts until it goes away. You know, you just kinda, you walk around as if you've been cryogenically frozen. And then that person goes, hey, how you doing? Ah! Oh, so, you know, and, like, and then it's over. Yeah, that, that is another thing that's horrible about sunburn is that uh, some, someone says in here, I'll go ahead and read this one. Uh, Kaylee5095 says, sunburns are definitely worse because there's no hiding a sunburn. It's, you know, you look like a lobster. You look, you look stupid. But the parts that you can hide are also worse about sunburn because of that, because of the grab the shoulder factor. You forget how many times people grab your shoulder until you've had sunburn. But if you get sunburn, if you get poison ivy on your face, which I have had happen, ooh, it shows up, friend. Let me I, tell you. I've heard of people getting getting poison ivy in their mouth. Well, let me tell you about this. Okay, I'm a kid. I'm with Ben Greenwood, good friend that we grew up with. Uh huh. And we find we're we're playing at a dump. We're playing at like a dump, a, a landfill essentially. Small town. You couldn't find an abandoned house. So Near, you went the, to the dump, the nearest dump. And on the exterior of the dump, around it, there are these. Oh, really soft green leaves. Oh. oh, yeah. And I knew what poison ivy looked like. I knew it wasn't poison ivy, but I think it was oak or sumac because it got me. We climb up into this and we sit down and you we got naked. We were both in shorts and t-shirts and like flip-flops. We lay down in it and like have a conversation about elementary school life. And then and you're like wallowing in I'm it. I'm like rolling over, listening to him. I, you know, I'm like every single part of my, my exposed body is in this for like an hour. It sounds like you were having a good time. Are you sure it wasn't worth it? Yeah, a day later, it begins breaking out. I had to stay home from school because I had poisoned something everywhere. Face, front, back, legs, oh, hands. Gosh. And that was an embarrassing time. So, I mean, at least for the way I, I haven't ever gotten sunburned that bad. So for me personally, that was the worst experience between the two options. Now, we would go out in the woods a lot, uh, sometimes with Ben, like you mentioned. I got, I got poison ivy so bad one time, or sumac, or oak, or whatever it was. I remember that my, my entire leg was nothing but just poison ivy just polyps kind of growing up. Yeah. It wasn't just little bumps, it was the whole leg was swollen. I had to sleep with wet towels on my legs and I would scratch in my sleep. And that would make it worse, even though as you say, it wouldn't make it transfer. It causes an infection. That's the thing I read, when you, when you scratch, you're not supposed to scratch it, but it won't spread it. What will happen is it will cause an infection that you'll get even more inflammation. April Star says, short term, I think poison ivy is worse. My husband had a bad case right before our wedding. It luckily cleared up right in time. To get married, because as you know, you cannot get married if you have poison ivy, at least in the continental United States. And my That's mom's, what she's saying. My mom's eyes have swollen almost closed from poison ivy before. I've rarely seen such immediate bad results from sunburn. But long term, I think sunburn is worse because of the possibility of skin cancer. Short term, long term dilemma. The super math, Matajajika, I don't know how to say her name. Sunburn treatment is bathing in milk. Poison ivy is a cream. Would you like to buy 10 gallons of milk for falling asleep outside? No, of course not. Sunburn is worse because you have to purchase 10 gallons of milk to treat yourself. Ne never heard that one. Calliope 720 says, you're gonna have to trust me on this one. Poison oak or poison ivy can last for days at best, often weeks. Also, it can swell and ooze, so you have to be bandaged at all times. It's itchy, but it also hurts. And if you get it on your face, you might as well dig a hole and die in it. I've gotten sunburn once, and I I was wishing near death on myself. I wanted to dig a hole and get in it because of sunburn. Christy and I went to Ocracoke. This is we've been married one year, and I fell asleep on the beach, and I woke up. And front, front side up or? I was face up. Okay. So, and right here, like inside of my collarbones, it just felt like it was, it felt like I had been, it served me on a platter, I had been cooked. It was so gross. And people would see me walking around, you know, walking around town going, 
going to the restaurant that night. Hey, you know. Did and you walk like that? I walked like this because I had sunburn. I was trying to compensate with over coolness in myself. Hey, I'm cool. And people would just stop. You know how you stop when you see a cute baby? Women stop and say, oh, your baby's so cute. People were stopping me and saying, oh, you, you look so like you're in pain. I'm so sorry. People would stop me, strangers, and apologize for me. Yeah. That's how bad it was. Sunburn is definitely worse, long term and short term, because I'd say they're equally miserable in the short term. Uh, here's one last interesting uh, perspective. R.J. Menoza talks about the slap test to determine which is I've worse. Heard of this. Poison ivy is worse because if you get slapped where it is affected, now that she's saying sunburn is worse. I'm sorry. Poison ivy. I don't know what she means here. Uh -oh. Let me just read this a different way. A paraphrase. If you get slapped where you have poison ivy, it won't hurt. It'll actually feel better. If you get slapped where you have sunburn, it'll hurt like heck. So sunburn is worse. If you can slap it and it feels better, which I have had poison ivy and I've slapped myself. Because you get crazy. You slap yourself silly. Uh, I'm going to say uh, that I believe that poison ivy is worse Simply because sunburn subsides more quickly, and I think that you can, the, the skin cancer thing, first of all, it, sunburn is more easily manageable. I mean, it's just like, you, okay. you, 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 can, you can stay out of the sun, you can put on sunscreen. With, with poison ivy, there's, you're out there in the woods, you're lost, it's dark, you don't know what color, you can't see the plants, you can just happen. You can get sunburn anywhere. You don't have to be in the woods. Matter of fact, if you are in the woods, you probably won't get it. And then when you get it, it's a, it's a, it, sunburn lasts for such a short period of time. And then if you get melanoma later on, you just go to the skin, the dermatologist on a regular basis and get them cut off. Just catch it early enough is what yeah. you're saying. Poison ivy's worse is where I'm, that's where I'm landing on this. What do you think? Oh, and next week, more importantly, we need to get your mythical perspective for next week's show, which is better. Ice, ice cream, cream or yogurt? Frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt versus ice cream. Now there's a lot of nuances to this argument, so dig into it. Some people talk about the health, some people talk about other things, ingredients, the, the experience when you go to visit the, the said institution. Quite a spin there, Link. Talk about it. Link performs brain surgery. All right, let me wash up over here. Okay, sir, I'm not gonna have to put you to sleep. I just need you to sit here. I'm gonna open up. Doctor? <laughs> Doctor? Uh... I'm working on what the, are you, the auditory portion, portion of your brain here. I can't hear you. I'd like for you to, I don't mean, I mean speech portion. Okay. Uh, let me put the auditory portion. Okay, I'm not, I'm not touching you. I'd like for you to say the ABCs. Start now, sir. A, B, C, three, four, five, C, D, E. Okay, okay. Now I'd like for you to tell the good viewers at home, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Hello, good viewers. We we are so happy that you joined us today, and we would like you to come back tomorrow. And I mean, next week. Week. Oh.